Welcome back everyone to Let's Play the preview version of Shadow Empire, the stream continuation, episode number six. Alright, so how are we going to deal with things here? We we have some cards which I was thinking about playing. Oops, excuse me. And uh, yeah, we, I mean, we could, I think there's t two paths forward which seem like they could be pretty interesting for us. We could declare, a re or we could um, actually allow a rebellion to happen and then take those fate points to the bank. Alternatively, we could try to provoke things against Light State. Now, right now, their relations with us are actually pretty good. And to me, that seems like it is a good time for us to declare a rebellion. In order to do this properly, all we need to do is make sure we spread our military around. Unfortunately, we should have done this if we, were, if we wanted to do it. We should have done it when we were a little bit smaller. Um, so we should have done it. Actually, the rebels might even be able to take the territory that Light State has. I mean, we're going to take it from them when we take them anyway. But the rebellion is just going to be an, um, it's going to be a pain in the bum to deal with. But we're pretty much to the point where we have a ton of metal, a ton of industrial points, and that's also the point where uh, you know what? We've we got to first call our secretary. I want to go to, not secretary budget, I actually want to go to my city, commander, call Dolly, um, zone orders, what, is that a general? Oh yeah, we have a retired general, we have Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> so those are the two events we've had in the past, we had a general, we allowed him to speak, and we have Dr. Frankenstein, which is the doctor we allowed to just keep doing his business. Let's look at the zone orders, because... Right now, we're only getting a maximum number of recruits of 500. This is to, we can kind of set this to whatever we want in order to prevent too much bleeding of recruits away from our main population. Because right now, we're, we're, you know, we give them a, a fair, a pretty chunk, big chunk of a sign-on bonus. Now, I'm going to take this up to 1,000 because we may want, very soon here, a, a bigger, bigger army. Um, right now we're doing okay with militancy, but it's already falling. And now it looks like culture score of four is causing ten, or f I'm sorry, culture score above ten is now causing four points to decrease per turn, which means our net, you know, gain or loss is minus three. Minus three is going to take this down. I prefer there is one strategy you can get, which is um, I don't have it, I don't think, but it's. Oh, we do have it! Huh. So from this, we will suffer a 4d10 decrease in militancy, and we'll get plus 2 pay points. We're going to be moving towards a regular army anyway, so this is not militancy as in it's not the militia. The militia are still going to like us, but the militancy is how you acquire these new units. Um, by the way... We, I think we already have a school. Another thing I want to do, I know that we're taking a lot of time in the beginning of the episode, but let's always do these State of the Unions, get everyone up to speed. And one of the cool things I was looking at off camera, usually the reason why I do it at the beginning is because before I start recording, I kind of refresh myself. I'd like to show you all the very cool things that the private economy has decided so far to construct in our city. Now, it started with a dome farm and scavenging, um, but they built a private lab, which is going to give us quality of life health, and even some bonus research. So res bonus points means it it's like some I think it's a percentage increase or maybe it's not I'm getting I'm not getting 50 points. I'm getting some bo points which go towards a bonus percentage to your research. I don't know if it's exactly correct but that's my understanding. Um, quality of life, education, then we have res uh, security, we got entertainment from the casino. So town customs, I mean, town customs I think was already there. Hospice for health. Um, we got brothels for more entertainment. And recently, we were able to get um, an industry, which has given us even more industrial points. And they have decided to build themselves a library. And that's going to be fantastic, because that's going to provide a research bonus. So, wait a second. Oh, this is library two. Yeah, I was like, wait, I thought they already had one. They did. So this is just going to be education then. I guess it's not a private lab. Bummer. We would really like, we would really like it if they built up the private lab. 
So yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna. Um, I mean, I guess we should not do this attack until all the units down here are <clears throat> are dead, and I mean the rebellion. So yeah, yeah, I, I, it's all becoming clear in my head now. Um, what we're gonna do is we want to build a bigger army, and that's gonna be the one that can come down here and take care of these final remaining rebel forces. I mean, we can kind of just let them, you know, bonk their head against us forever and ever and ever. Um, okay, so we actually can one, two, three, four. Well, that would be one, two, three, four as well. I don't think we can go here. I think that would put us out of supply. Um, I think the only thing to do is to invite them forward. We don't need, again, we don't need to maintain the line so deep. They're already going to have this mountain chain. It would have been nice to have that as the border, but... Okay, maybe I can do it. So, one... This is low mountains. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's move this unit forward. Okay, the fact that he cleared this was very important, just to make sure that basically nobody's there. It does take a little bit of um, their readiness, which is their combat strength, to move forward. 25 entrenchment versus we got this guy at 200. He's in great shape. So, what else do we want to do? Um, you guys can't move. I guess I did some movements from these guys already. Uh, yeah, so if we're not going to... Mm -mm 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 -mm. If we're not going to do the rebellion quite yet because we want to get a bigger army and take care of the militia in the south first, should we just start attacking light state? Well, it looks like I didn't really make up my mind after all, but I don't think it's going to matter for this turn because we've used a lot of the movement points. Um, and I'm, I'm actually completely okay with not acting immediately. It's more efficient to, you know, you know, get all the things going as fast as possible, but it's not going to hurt us too much if we delay another turn. It's just, you know, we won't be quite as strong. And who knows, maybe that ends up being the straw which broke the camel's back some 50 turns down the line when we're fighting some major and we are just like a, a hair's width from winning but we lose <laughs> who knows <laughs> i hate to think about things that way because it's just you get you drive yourself nuts but that's the way i think unfortunately um selling stuff metal is not an option i guess we already sold this turn then because well food's actually looking pretty good they're gonna give us 40 well 41 for that i'm gonna take 400 worth ah 400 Vic. might have to suggest this Okay, let's sell that. Take our 170. We're actually we're over 2,000. So we don't really. It's not necessary. Yeah, and then what I want to do. So I'll, I'll look at this real fast. We built previously a brigade which has five battalions. What I might consider. I, I mean, we built the machine gun one, which is perfect because that's a good defensive unit. Um, what I'm considering doing now is getting a core for the next one. I don't. We have the model designer, so not only is that going to give us. Well, actually, that's only going to give us... Until we have the staff designer or what, staff council. There's another council we need to be able to unlock different orders of battle. I'd probably be okay building a core level um, machine gun infantry corps with um, five divisions. We're at 60% of that already. And the limit for us is troops, which I just increased. That's going to go up on its own, no matter what. So 235, 235. You can see that even a full core is not too expensive. It's mostly industrial points. That cost will also go up as soon as we get our new technology, arming our, our grunts, as they are called right now. When our grunts become grunts mark two, or I think they're just called grunts two. When they become grunts two, then we're going to have a more expensive time equipping an army. But right now, the limitation is recruits. And you only need 50% to be able to execute the raising of the formation. And slowly the rest, uh, everything um, can trickle in later if uh, if you want to do it that way. I prefer to just do it 100%, but it's not necessary. If you are in a pinch, you can always do something with, uh, I think it only needs 50%. Okay, so that said, um, with, the, with the situation with the workers not doing so good right now, that's the reason why I want my happiness to go up. So hopefully we can attract more free folk. Is there anything we can do about that? I mean, getting another level of the school would be good. I think we oh, we don't have a school at all. We only have the university, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, we have the library. We don't have a public school. Um, I think this might be worth doing. And I don't, I actually say that because I don't think, okay, population of the zone being increased would be also quite good. Maybe we just do both of these. I wanna build as fast as possible. So if there's benefits we can do, I'd rather do them earlier rather than later so that the exponential growth essentially happens earlier rather than later. And I don't think that these are, the Gladiators is also interesting to get Arena, which is entertainment, which would be an increase in the happiness. But I think 10, okay, let's look at this, 10d10. So this is, um, it could be as low as 1000, which is pretty small. Okay, let's just play this for now. And I'll think about the other one. Let me just see how much they're growing per turn. Okay, so we have a school now, and this is going to provide us quality of life education. Okay, well, it's only gonna provide education, but and we'll wait an, another turn on the militia decision just because um, I'm gonna let it fall until maybe like 60 and then I'll, I'll execute the card. Right now the biggest concern I forgot, of course, it's the title of the last episode and I titled it so I should know, but yeah, energy, we are having a hard time getting the uh, the proper amount of energy. Okay, we were attacked, or were we? No, that's... I think that was Picard attacking. Okay, um... It's coming into full force next turn. We completed physical storage. We developed Grunts 2. We developed a motorbike infantry. Good. No! <laughs> We really need that discovery. <laughs> okay, we lost 84. Wow. <laughs> All right, metal production just has to come to a stop for now. Let's start micromanaging this, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. <clears throat> okay, let's see, anything which doesn't need stuff. I want the bureaucratic points, so that's the one thing which we're not gonna stop. Workers are gonna be decreased as soon as we do this, so let's drop our food production. Sorry, click on this. Okay, yes, now let's drop this to um, 25%. Let's drop the metal mine to 25%. That's gonna save us a little, oh my God, we're gonna run out of power. <sighs> Yikes. Hmm. And we're still lacking workers. Let me look at the situation here, both population increased and workers increased, which means that population increased by a lot. And then from that higher population, a lot of people were taken, we can see it here. How many were increased due to going or decreased due? Yeah, 2,800 were taken the second line or the second bullet point. 2,800 people were taken to work. So that means that they were detracted from here, which means we still had a, without that worker thing. And they just, they swap back and forth. When we need them, we hire them. And when, when we don't need them, they're put sent back to the regular population. So that essentially means that the growth was 3,100 this turn, which is good, which is good. We actually dropped in truck points and that's probably because of workers, I think. Yeah, looks like it was due to workers. So we'll get that under control hopefully soon. Um, in the meantime, should we just start backing up? Like I don't need to control a lot of this stuff. I do prefer, yeah, this guy needs to come all the way back. This unit, I'm just gonna send all the way back as well. Cause, oh, wait, wait, whoop. Shouldn't have done that. Unless, do I want this unit here? Okay. We'll have that unit stay there just because that's how it worked out. I would prefer that one to be there because this guy's going to... We, we're going to need him to be mobile, but he's going to be cut off from supply if anybody is spawned along this path. This unit is going to move here. We're going to start moving people into position for the, the rebellion because what we saw was, thankfully, the Picard commune is has decided to take matters into their own hands and uh, do the warfare themselves. I don't think we can move here. I think this is gonna be too far away. Like, let me just hide this real fast. So, 10. How much is it? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So four is definitely too far away because this guy's only at yellow. Hmm. This guy's okay. He's now just guarding the commune though, so we don't really need him to do that. I think we're just gonna do this, just shift. 
let the Picard commune just continue to come on. And I think we'll leave everything where it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll just try to make this a quicker turn. Let's go to our decisions. Okay, economic console. Well, it's really getting pathetic here. <laughs> I don't need any prospecting help. We'll just put that to just straight zero. We'll put research to 25. <laughs> Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Is it like painfully obvious what I need? <gasps> What? Roger that. Did they get unlocked? Okay, am I crazy? Did we... Were these yellow the whole time? I thought they were grayed out. I don't understand. Okay, I need to go back. Okay, wh wh I mean, whatever the case is, I might have just completely missed something, which I, I feel bad about if that's the case. Um, we want to upgrade our uh, machine guns, same kind of thing as what we did with the grunts. Better machine guns, give them the padded environments oh, and viral suits as well. Okay, iron space demands regular relations. What? Iron space is over there to the west. I don't really care about fighting iron space right now. Unfortunately, that means I should have probably pushed a little bit harder to grab like this town, which is 35,000 people. My goodness, it's a lot of people. So I'm just going to accept though, because we don't have... We can deal with all this mess later, and it's going to make everyone happy. It's going to give us mine points. I should also go to our profile, because we have 13% um, chance of getting logical thought, which is fantastic. Right now, 0% chance of getting anything else, except for maybe martial tournaments. We don't really need this. Plus 25 operational command rolls. Actually, that's quite good. <laughs> we don't need it, but i got to say, now that I see what it does, it's actually quite useful. There must be some interplay going on right now between the... Okay, there's our models. There must be some interplay going on over here. Yeah, so you can see that right now, Fist is limiting heart, or sorry, Fist is limiting mind. So it'll drop down to 69 eventually, and um, this will drop down, if this doesn't drop down, it actually probably will drop down to 70 and this will drop down to 30 because there is some back action when you're controlling the person. It just most of the control happens in the direction the arrow is pointing. Mind is going to control heart. So that's going to drop down to, in theory right now, 28. But this one's going to be dropping down. So this probably will drop down to like 30 as well. So we're probably going to have like 30, 30, 70 for the final. Um, these are not controlling each other. These are also controlling each other. Actually, meritocracy is just controlling democracy. I don't really want democracy to fall, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't really want democracy to to fall. Yeah, that's sounds like an okay statement to make. <laughs> so when you get these um, perks, or they're called feats right now, but I know Das Tactic doesn't like that word. <laughs> but um, when you get these, you unlock them at some number. So this starts at forty. You don't lose them unless it drops to 10 below that. So in this case, it won't drop unless it goes below 30. So it's pretty hard to get, you know, you don't bounce oscillate back and forth between getting it and then immediately losing it. If you lose like one point in the uh, appropriate characteristic. Anyway, enough about all that. We have no more decisions to make. That's That was nice. That was not too difficult to do. Um, Trade-wise, metals, what I'm willing to sell. And it's selling for a lot, so we'll sell it as much as yes, we can. That, Can't buy. Okay, so what we have to go call our economic council guy again. So let's just call you. Priorities. Roger, I know that we just did this, but let's do it again. So actually, he needed a little bit of... of <laughs> he needed a little bit of a reminder about this. So I'm... You know what? I think we'll go crazy. <laughs> Roger that. Yeah, so we can keep kind of massaging him towards... I think we can just keep doing this. Let's just keep massaging Roger him that. towards the, the numbers I want. So he's still not quite getting it, but he got economic policies down to zero, which is good. I don't actually mind if prospecting is like 5% actually, so I'll do 6 and I just want this at like maybe 70, which will bring it up to like 60. Well, let's do 75. 
No, oh, let's do 70. Because I still want some discovery. Let's confirm that. And I'm going to leave it at whatever it is now, which I think we can just check in the overview. Has it automatically been updated? No, not, not quite. Oh, it does, actually. You can see the prospecting is now 2.2 divided by 44. So it's not quite 5. It's, yeah, it's 6%. It actually went up to 6%. Um, I'm not going to do the math on camera from any of the other ones, but uh, you can see research is now 44 points into that. Actually, I think the 44, yeah, this is the pre-change. Um, this is post-change, and this is pre-change. So this number updated, but this one did not. This is probably what we invested last turn. Obviously, 0% of 44% would be 0. And you could definitely fit 0 0.1 in that and then you, you know, three out of 172 is definitely more than 0.1. All right, anyway, enough, but it's just cool that you can see all your budgets, how they're allocated, more or less what they're going to. Solar energy is at 0%. We just hope that we very quickly get that because the situation is quite dire, quite dire. And we've cut back, we could mothball. I think mothball is essentially 0%, but I've never mothballed before. I, and I have the fear that there's like a warm-up time or a work-up time if you do that. So, um, you know what? I know that it's crazy because, well, the, the situation is going to be fixed by the time anything here gets done in four rounds. Actually, that may not be true. But the truck station at least does not cost anything more except for workers. Oh, it's going to cost workers. Okay, so we're going to do this, and I am just going to go ahead and um, execute that card. We'll have enough points soon enough, but I think this is a... Yeah, I think this is... So there's only um, 1,000 to up to 10,000. Let's see what we get. 6,200. It's quite nice. Okay, good. So I, I'm, I do not regret that we did that. Um, and what's our militia at? 74. Okay, good. So we won't use militia loss of, loss of faith quite yet, but that time is coming. Trade. Do we want to sell anything else? Fuel. Well, thank God we don't have to use industry for fuel. I mean, the power, power plants. So now our fuel can actually just be stockpiled and sold as we like. Um, if I wanted to buy anything, machines are getting a little bit more expensive. We're at 32, which is a pretty good number. I think I'll buy, this is crazy, but I think I'll buy the four high-tech parts at 200 a pop. It's going to take us down to around 2,000, which is still okay. We're just future-proofing ourselves. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. I know that we're going so slow in this one. We've only done, this is only the second turn, but... Uh, yeah, we do want to start guarding assets, so... This metal walker, I think we'll entrust somebody more to that, like this unit. We just turn off units to see what else we might want to defend. So scientific outpost seems important. I don't think we need to defend anything up here. It'd be nice to, you know, keep the town, but it's just not important. It's not necessary, at least. I think I'll put the jetpack unit here. Um, this unit I'm going to have come down and defend this stuff, so... I guess we can just put him here. What is this? Low mountain? So, yeah, it's probably better to move him this way. And we're all going to move that way. So I'll put a bunch of, probably one unit each in both of these. So probably this unit will pair up with the lasers. They'll guard this, and the other ones will guard that. This unit guards this. We're going to start getting ready. Okay. And I think that that's everything I want to do. We, did, we, did we start construction or something new? We did. So, let's end the turn. I probably should pause at the, you know, just pause the recording, spend a little bit of time to look through everything that is left to make sure I can't min-max something. Okay, another attack. The Picard Commune is just really helping us out. <clears throat> I will loathe the, the day that we go to war. Unfortunately, that's usually how it goes. Okay, so there is some, looks like Marauders pushing that way. All right, um, the unrest is happening, but... We gain logical thought. That's amazing. Our research bonus has gone up hugely. I will be really interesting to see where power station is at. So we uh, gain three new stratagems and spy. We probably have a lot of these. We can send them actually. Mechanized 
Uh, so we have a Blitzkrieg um, stance. Recruit military. I don't think we need any of those quite yet. Yeah, they, I think they actually eliminated that unit altogether. Okay, let's take a look. What's our... So, yeah, it's still dropping by three a turn. In this case, the population did not increase any further. Oh, that's because it did go up, but 1,000 recruits were added, so we lost... Uh, yeah, so we lost 1,000 and we got 900 plus, yeah, 900 folks from population increase, either natural, which is 500, or migration, which is 400, and then luxury private economy attracted 100 extra free folk, which just means I think that our private economy is doing really well. All right, let's keep these guys going. They're all bound this way, I guess. Oh, good, we will have an extra person. Do we have anything else to guard on? Guarding that. I don't think so. I mean, I'd like to deal with these Marauders. Non-line forces, this is your giveaway that it's just Marauders, but just don't have the, the manpower quite yet. Trying to, I need to get into like a pattern. Uh, 0.8 is still good enough. We're, all, we're not gaining too much, but I think it's still worth it. It's a good amount of money, 266. I will not sell our food considering we have decreased our supply. So yeah, we're down to 67. We have two turns left, pretty much exactly two turns. That is not enough. We, yeah, we got to do something. Yeah, 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 Okay, well, we'll just, we'll wait as long as we can before decreasing the bureaucratic offices because that's obviously the thing which is taking up the most amount of power, but it's also the thing which is fueling right now our research. Speaking of, which one? Yeah, this side. Let's take a look at what what's going on with the research. Is that 38%? So we need, oh God, we need a lot more turns. <laughs> Militia, commemorative plaque. Well, the 200 credits doesn't seem as big of a deal now. Is this going to increase our militancy? They are going to be pretty happy. And this guy's our advisor, this guy's military research. Let's try this and see what happens with militancy. Did it change anything? No. Okay, national budget. Well, ugh, boy, you picked a bad time. <laughs> I have to be uh, pretty crazy about this, I think. Let's drop this down to 8%. Keep model at 20. Military is going down to 25, and the Economic Council is eating up all the rest of the change because it's desperate times right now. I hope everyone understands. We will upgrade it to a minor city. That's fantastic. Resettlement proposal, an envoy, envoy from Picard Commune has proposed us to accept a small group of 500 rather special refugees. They are outcasts in Picard Commune because of their bizarre facial tattoos. Well, this is pretty interesting. We get plus 7 meritocracy, minus 5 government. Government. So we won't lose our bureaucracy. Public economy plus 40% does not... I guess that is pretty nice. Um, what is meritocracy going to offer us? Martial tournaments. We'd actually... Wow, administration rolls plus 40. Holy crap. Meritocracy is good. You know, it's funny. I have to tell you this. I just... I would like to, and also it's going to be very interesting to, like, think about this. This is the first game where I have had my choice of pushing to meritocracy and pushing mine, which are the two I would prefer to go with. I have to tell you, this is making it look easy. If you look at any other playthroughs on this, you are usually so hamstrung trying to get the one you want because you're fighting with people all the time. So basically, you can't force the government to be entirely what you want it to be. This is some kind of the aligning of stars. You know, we're just once in a blue moon, you're going to get a game where it just so happens everyone is in favor of that. So we're getting lucky here. Um, Picard Commune will be really happy. 
Um, it'll give us more meritocracy. I'm going to take this because I, I do like the government side of things, but honestly, I like the meritocracies much more so far. Um, plus, I, I wouldn't mind the 500 refugees, frankly. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually added to our people. It doesn't look like it, but... Okay, so ho here's hoping that... <laughs> Here's hoping that we get this research done very, very quickly. Yeah, and that's the last thing, of course. Excuse me, of course, we need to figure out a way. <clears throat> we might even have to cut industry. Okay, let's... <clears throat> let's look at mothballing metal. Oh, God, it's only five metal. That's so... This is only seven. It just it doesn't affect anything. It's such a insignificant decrease. It has to come from the bureaucratic office. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to strain that. Well, well, gosh, we're going to have to cut this down. <clears throat> actually, I, I just want to think about this. If I lower it, does it actually have any appreciable difference? I'll put this down to 75 just to make sure I do get two more turns of research going, since we need two more turns of research to get. Um, I mean, I could go crazy. Okay, okay, I think we, we need to. Desperate times. Going for desperate, desperate measures. Um, yeah. Gonna leave prospecting at 5%, but I'm just gonna tank. Discovery chance, and do something like crazy. Let's see what that put us at. <laughs> this is such crazy. Anyways, yeah. So we, if we're lucky, is it possible? Let's do it again. It's three times larger right now, which means it's, okay, if this is like 5%, it's probably 5%. It's 2.3% of 47. I mean, 2.3 divided by 47 is how much the actual percentage is. So that looks to me, I mean, it looks very clear that that's 5%. So you can basically double this number, which means we're at 70 and we're at 20. Is that enough? Because if we do more, if we, we weren't, we, this is three times, this is three times what this is. And here it was only not even quite double. How many points does that mean that we've shifted? So what, if this totals to like 150 and now we have this one is, so, so 150 divided by four, more or less 40. Um, so we have 120 now in this is 120 divided by 92. No, I don't think it's enough to get us, you know, I'm, the math I'm trying to do is if you increase this by whatever 70 divided by 45 was, um, is that enough to get 38 over, I need it to be 62% in order to finish this in a turn. Well, let's just go crazy. I, I guess we'll just seriously just try it. Because we look at the worst case scenario is we don't finish it, but we can slow down the number of bureaucratic points next turn um, because we know that we have enough points in the bank. Okay, there we go. It's crazy, but this is these are crazy times we live in. <laughs> okay, this turn has been all about manipulating the damn economic council. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. Don't think we need any anything else here. I'm gonna pause and look around just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay. Well, I actually did find some ways we can save a little bit of power. Um, this hospital, we are going to mothball it, which means that yeah, people are not gonna be happy. Well, I'll just put it down to 25%. I I was thinking about mothballing the metal because the metal we're gonna have a, a pretty good supply of. It's even gonna be coming in from the recycling centers. And this will be a good chance to see what happens when you do mothball something. So I will mothball it, even though technically, I mean, it's really the thing which is taking the least amount of power. Um, yeah, so this will be at 75%. That's really not what I would want, but we're going to get a lot of industrial points from other stuff like the, you know, essentially the very, the solar automated factory. And then we start with one as well. This is degraded liquid energy mini reactor this is in the city we start with that that's where your power comes from at the beginning so we just reduce a few things of power 
It's not going to stop the problem, but um, it's hopefully going to mean that more power is distributed to the things I want it distributed to. We'll find out. Here we go. Was it enough? That would be awesome if it was just enough. If we were able to do it, <laughs> please give me that research. We did get a research bonus, right? Something. Mm. What the hell? That is not. That is not a raider. Wow, unrest modified by. Oh, we gained martial tournaments. Holy cow. We did get the new upgrade. So it's time to upgrade our, our foe. I didn't actually do the upgrades yet, but okay, let's look. Power. Oh, only changed by minus 26. Hooray! It looks like we're going to do it. Um, unfortunately, we did not finish the research. It's the first thing I need to look at. We're at 66%. What is going on there? So let's take this. Well, no, we're getting enough. Okay, truck station two is gonna finish. Metal mines mothballed. Okay, well we're, we are saving power. It's a, remarkable to me that despite, yeah, economic policies actually got three BP even despite being at zero percent. Solar energy went from thirty-eight to sixty-six. That's the really scary thing. That means it might take yet another turn. What? I need research. I need it. But hey, I mean, if the power situation is not going to be that bad, then maybe. Anyway. Instant with firing a popular subject. Um, okay. We can increase unrest. What's our city looking like right now? Looks like fear levels controlling everything, which is nice, so we're not having too much unrest. Meritocracy. So we, I think we just gained the meritocracy. Yeah, we gained martial tournaments. Hmm. Okay. Probably leave this decision till... Okay. I can... Fox will be kind of pissed. But I can actually... Make everyone happy, it looks like. Who did he piss off? Populous of Pacifica. Oh wait, who's this? Oh, this is director of model. Design. Wait. Oh, wow. The model design council person really doesn't like me. Okay, so that was a bad decision to put her in there. This is the one who went back up to 100, and I was like, ah, we're our resting point is at 66 or something. No, it turns out that was a bad idea. I think we are going to sacrifice his relation to do this. No unrest. I, I don't mind a little bit of unrest, though. This one's plus eight. That's not bad. And then Fox doesn't decrease by that much. But we get six unrest. Just going to decrease our happiness. But that's not that big of a deal because we can just do fear. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. I've thought it through. Okay, wow. Minus 16. He'll recover. Sorry, Fox. Sorry, Nit Nitro. <laughs> Sorry, Nitro. Um, okay, we have a goal. Our min level, our BP production 524, that would be fantastic. Mining assets reach at least level 2, that's going to be extremely easy to do. I do think the government getting that higher would be really nice, and we do want the BP production. Getting the admin levels is actually getting the BP levels up, so they're really the same goal here. You accomplish both of these by getting your BP production up. So the question is, do we want more meritocracy or do we want government? I think I want, in this case, government, so I'm going to choose B. Affirmative. Military research. I think we're probably, we can invest a little bit more on discovery now. Roger that. I, sorry, on actual research. Okay, so we have the two designs we wanted. We actually need to do a uh, motorbike infantry, so the way it works, we don't need to because motorbike infantry doesn't lead to anything, but just as a, uh, an aside, you can't get the next line on the research without having a model for the thing which comes before. So, bazooka is possible for us. We haven't discovered it yet, but it's possible. Artillery can be discovered. Um, 
I don't know why bazooka cannot be discovered. Oh, we need RPG tech, okay. Well, that's fine. So these APC and light tank can be discovered only if you have a model designed in the previous tier. So very interesting. Vic has done some phenomenal work getting the whole tech tree thing. To, it's like separate tech trees, but related and feels very organic to me. So um, yeah, we wanna, I think our, we've discovered everything. So what is our economic council even doing? I think we're just investing points into discovery that we don't need. So I'm actually gonna go and harp on that guy a little bit more. Model counts. Okay, so you are not going to be very helpful because you hate me. I don't know. We don't even really care about motorbike infantry, but I guess I'll just develop something. Yeah. Uh, we'll go. There you go. Um, so we might have to replace that person, which is going to be a pain in the bum. I don't like doing that, but sometimes it's just got to happen. Okay, so you are... You're going here. Where are you destined for? Probably this way as well. Maybe I need to hold this road. They cannot spawn on top of your unit, obviously, so it, I guess I actually need some units in the city itself, so that's where that... that. That's where that guy's gonna move. Well, technically I should buy a core before I get a rebellion going. Oh, yeah, this guy can move further. In fact, both of those guys can move further. Um, the ruins is gonna be pretty easy to hold because we'll entrench really well in it. Mountains are gonna be easy to hold. This plains grassy is a little bit vulnerable. So is this one. This one's gonna be fine. High mountains. So, I've got these annoying people, but as long as they don't take my damn road, because we can just as easily go one, two, three, four. We don't need these hexes here. I guess I will, you know, just show that I'm serious. White land. Um, yeah, that's I'm, that's different. This is a new person. Taking up all my territory. Jerks. I spent so long trying to get that. So I, I guess I will move over here just to prevent them from pushing any further. Just like, you know, to show them that this is the limit. This is as far as you're allowed to go. That mountain pass cannot be, you know, passed. Nothing else really needs to happen. We're at 43 minutes. Probably a good place to call this video to close, but I really, I'm gonna make sure that I look around real fast and we're gonna end this turn because I, I just don't want to, yeah, it would just feel cheap to only get three turns done this time. So especially because I feel like we're ready to go um, population wise we gained 900 lost it so that's good so we at least gained 100 plus the 1000 recruits and you can see now why the recruits recruiting a, a thousand people you might want to limit that a little bit more even our workers are a little bit happy uh, unhappy um, low quality of life versus national citizen that's probably because that's probably because I, I stopped the hospital <laughs> they might be a little upset at me closing the hospital but, you know, they just don't understand. T desperate times come for desperate, uh, call for desperate measures. So I think that, yeah, I'll look around real fast. All right, well, actually there's a, a couple things I wanna do. I wanna move this unit here and move them back into the town. And then I, I think it's actually time for us to upgrade these units. So these grunts, we can just click on them and hit upgrade and upgrade them to Grunts Mark II. We're just gonna take a little bit of metal, a little bit more industrial points. Gosh, I think I'm going to have to go back to my assets here and it's just industrial points are so important. I'm going to put this back to 100%. We'll see how bad that affects me next turn, but uh, now same thing here. Upgrade. I know I forgot one from the last one. So we'll go back here, change you guys to grunts as well. I think you can, th there might be a way to upgrade all of them. I, I have done it this way. <laughs> And I, I have a strong, strong suspicion this is not the fastest way of doing it. Let's try unit admin. Um, yeah, so we want to change... Oh, we can do it this way. Great. Wait, did that work? Upgrade. Oh, no, 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 I can't do this. That's to upgrade... Yeah, that's to upgrade your entire formation to like... A, oh, God. 
Did I do it? Need a min, downgrade. Yeah, just be this. So just don't change is what I'm trying to say. I think I put it back to what it was. Yeah, it's back to a brigade. I mean, I'm trusting that this is fine. So this would be to upgrade it to a core. That would actually be an effective way. That would mean I wouldn't have to buy it myself. What would we need that? What would we, what would we need for that? So this is obviously not where I do my upgrade, though. Um, yeah, what you have to do is... <laughs> You have to go and do this um, model. Is it with the model person? Let's just find it real fast. Let's try to do it. Uh, no, it's not that. There's certain model types which are okay. There's certain model ones which are like not allowed. And I don't know where it is. Overview? Formation types? No. It's models. Yeah. No. There's a way to like set the the Wait, details? Is this where it is? More info. There's a place where you set the quality of each of these. It might be my secretary does it. Alright, I'll find it off camera and I'll make sure I remember. Hopefully I'll remember to do that next turn. Um, anyways, I wanted to upgrade these troops by doing it in a more efficient way than this, but okay, until I find that, <laughs> doing it the, the hard way. Oh, okay. Anyways, you've seen what I'm trying to do here. I need to go back and actually, I haven't even started doing the machine guns. I have to go back and do these as well, because we do have a new machine gun. So, I'll just do this all off camera. Upgrade all my five uh, battalions. And, um, yeah, I'll just do that real fast. Okay, well, at long last, I found what I was looking for. Um, first of all, I did upgrade everything, and I also wanted to make a comment about Techno Mages, because people saw those and were like, oh, that's really cool. The Elite Snipers was from a decision I had. I chose between either two Elite Snipers or one, like, Sergeant of some kind, I forget what, but the Techno Mages, just think of them as, like, drone operators. They look like mages with red eyes and all that, but they're really just mastery of drone and sensor gadgets, so I just think of them as drone operators. Anyone anyone attacking a unit with a Techno Mage suffers a 50% penalty on their attack, so it's a really powerful unit. This is part of the um, profile stuff that you can get. Um, so they come along with Technology Fascination, and there's, you know, every, or almost all the feats have some kind of unit associated with it, and they're all good, so, you know, you just choose which one you want. Usually you don't, I don't pick a path to get the unit, but if you were doing like a military-focused playthrough, you might do that. Uh, now, the thing I was looking for was in management. In fact, I had been there this exact <laughs> episode. Here it is. So um, you can set... It, this is um, where I want to set. So let's choose these to be... None just means... But uh, let's do this. Regular. That. So there we go. We have that. And uh, I'm going to put low as tolerated, which means that if you have something low, you, you do not... Uh, you're not allowed to send somebody with low. Um, tolerated just means that you cannot get new units that are of this kind. So we could not get new grunt ones into this. But if there are grunt ones in the unit, they won't be shipped out. If I did um, disallow, then they would be shipped out, even if, they, even if the unit became understaffed as a result. So this is the screen. We do it like this, and you know we can do it for anything. We'll do the same thing here low regular so that you know basically these are prioritized and that's uh we can leave these on none or we can put them to whatever we want because they're the only kind that there is right now so there you have it and i think that's gonna conclude this do we have yeah unfortunately i don't have time to even finish this this turn so we'll have to wait until the next episode to see how the whole solar panel thing works out to see what's going on with the white land we got a lot, but we at least figure out how to do all that. And oh, by the way, one more thing I wanted to do. I need to replenish soldiers. I have one unit that's actually missing. Some one, just one grunt. So let me just grab one grunt, produce that grunt two. So it's gonna cost very little, obviously. <laughs> but um, yeah, we want that so that we just one unit lost 100 men at some point, this one. So, and now he will be reinforced as soon as that unit is processed and trolls through the, the chain of command. Okay, but that's going to do it for this episode.
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for the next one. Until then, stay safe and take care.